Hi everyone! <laughs> I believe ako ay naka-live na. So, welcome po sa ating uh, live session today. So, para sa ating uh, training, a uh, free training today, we will talk about how to convince a client to uh, get you as their social media manager even without experience and or portfolio. So, bakit uh, saan galing tong question na to? So, uh, tinanong to ng isang uh, swag team member last time nung nagtanong ako, ano yung mga gusto niyong sagutin ko? So, uh, isa yan sa mga question na nilagay. And I believe in order for me to answer it na talagang malinaw and talagang makakatulong is we need to answer it with um, in-depth and talagang uh, detailed answer. So, yun ang pag-uusapan natin today. <laughs> and I hope na uh, mag-enjoy din tayo. Gusto ko din kayo kamustahin. Gusto kong uh, malaman kung meron bang mga success stories, kung meron bang uh, mga urgent matters na kailangan yung tanong sa akin. So, ayun. Um, sa mga may question sa, uh, me- sa mga nagsisend ng message sa akin, um, uh, sorry, hindi ako nag-check ng messages uh, last week. So, super busy ako last week. Um, pero, uh, may mga moderators po na nag-forward sa akin ng mga questions nyo. So, sabihin nyo lang po sa kanila na, Hi, uh, makikiusap ako. Can you send this question to, uh, to Lala? And gusto ko sanang malaman ko ano yung sagot dito. This is very important for me. So, ganyan. And then, the administrators, yung super cool, super bababait nating administrators, sila Ao, sila Liz, yung mga nasa admin ng swag team, super sipag nila. So, um, yon makiusap lang kayo sa kanila and then they will forward it to me. So, yeah, um, today, excited din ako kasi um, I will be giving you guys in-depth or parang mas uh, magandang strategy, lalo na sa mga aspiring social media managers. Yon. <laughs> okay. Let me just check kung ako ay naka-live ng maayos. <laughs> Kasi baka hindi na naman maayos ang aking live session. Mm, yeah. Let's see. Titignan ko din kung sinong mga naka-online. <laughs> Ayan. Um, hmm. Oh! Okay, marami na tayo. Um, hmm. Ah, nag-feedback. <laughs> okay, pa-mute ko yan. Alright. Hello! Ang dami na natin. Hello, hello. Hi, Aw! <laughs> Kamusta? Hello, Glow. Ayan. Jai! Mommy Rose! Hello! Ivy! Hello! Ayun. Okay. Um, guys, para sa mga nag-join, if this is your first time, welcome po sa inyong lahat. <laughs> Ako po si Lala, uh, but the, uh, ang real name ko po is Shala, but my friends call me Lala. So, I would like to welcome you sa mga, uh, nasa, sa mga lagi nang nag-join, yung mga members ng Swag Team Community. Kamusta po kayo? I hope na... Uh, tuloy-tuloy yung journey nyo sa pag-learn ng skills, sa paghahanap ng clients, and hopefully po na-enjoy nyo yung process. Okay? And yeah, today, sasagutin natin tong question na to. Tinanong to ni Cheryl, I think that that's the name of the uh, swag team member natin na nagtanong or nagbigay ng question na yan. So, let's see. Um, uh, tingnan natin kung, ah, by the way, before before I jump into the discussion, sino po dito yung mga gustong sanang matuto ng SMM? So, so that alam ko din. So, if it is you na gusto nyo matuto ng SMM, please type in SMM. Just so I will see kung, um, yeah, kung, kung ilan percentage sa inyo ng SMM. Anyway, kahit hindi naman kayo mag smm that's fine. Kasi yung mga ituturo ko today, these are the things na talagang dapat ready kayo whatever kind of uh, online job or online uh, profession that you would like to 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 get so or you would like to apply na um hopefully po ma-apply natin lahat ng mga matututunan natin and guys tanghali ngayon i know it's time to relax i know 
um, nagsusyesta, yung, yung mga kids natutulog. So, I hope na magkaroon tayo ng bonding, you know, bonding natin uh, for this afternoon and magkaroon tayo ng kamustahan. Ayan. Girly, oh, ang dami pala. SMM, okay. Hi, Mommy Connie, kamusta? Guys, kasama si Mommy Connie sa mga nag-ano, ha, nag-spearhead ng um, English VA. Silang dalawa ni Al, super sisipag, super babaet. So, um, mag-connect kayo sa kanila. Mommy Connie is here. Ayan. Um, yay! SMM in the future. Wow, okay. Okay, so, maraming mag- gusto mag-learn ng SMM and this session is really, really helpful para po sa inyo. Okay? Para po sa mga... Uh, gusto pong makatulong sa iba, you can share this video sa inyong Facebook profile or i-share nyo po ito sa mga groups. So, just hit the share button, then share, sabihin nyo, join us, join the SWAG Team community so that, you know, um, magagamit natin yung oras natin ng maayos. And I really prepared for this presentation and... Medyo nagsuklay ako ngayon. <laughs> um, ayun. Uh, I'm really excited to do this live session sa inyo po. Alright? Okay. Um, nga pala, sa lahat ng mga gusto mag-aral ng SMM, did you guys get na the SMM handbook? If yes, type in nyo lang, yes, I got it. Kapag hindi pa, saan yun makukuha? Saan yun makukuha? You have to send a message sa ating... Um, a page sa so work at home geek page send yo kayo ng message o kaya naman uh, sabihin niyo uh, hanapin niyo yung post ko dito uh, may ginawa kong post tapos sabi ko okay comment smm para si chatbot isa send niya yung ano yung yung link and yung password para makuha niyo yung smm hello mary chu kamusta Yes, I got it. Okay, nakuha niyo na yung iba. So, yung not yet, Aaron, kamusta? <laughs> Pati hindi mo pa kinuha yung SMM. Anyway, uh, feel free to get it. It's free, 100% free, pala kayong babayaran. Okay? So, where to get it po, mag-send kayo ng message sa Work at Home Geek page. Sabihin niyo sa mga lovely moderators natin, Hi, can I please get the SMM handbook? O kaya naman, kung gusto nyo makuha agad at hindi na kayo maghihintay sa reply ng admin, all you need to do is search for the post. Um, maybe I can just uh, give you guys the the link ng post na yun. Um, Magpag-click nyo yung link na yun, tapos magko-comment kayo ng SMM, isa-send sa inyo ni chatbot. So, yeah. Uh, please download it. And kung... Bago lang po kayo ngayon, I've created several videos teaching you guys how you can get started sa uh, pagiging SMM. Okay? So, you have to watch the SMM lessons na uh, ginawa ko uh, past few weeks. Yeah, months. Ganyan. So, yeah, I've been, uh, I've been doing that. Uh, I've been creating videos for free. Uh, mga discussion, like, ano ba yung mga ginagawa ng SMM? Ano ba yung dapat i-prepare? Ano ba yung, sino ba yung mga dapat i-follow? Ayan. So, um, I'm just checking if, uh, huh, mukhang ayaw pa mag-load. Ayaw pa makisama nung aking internet connection. But yeah, um, I'm excited. Let's jump into the discussion now. Let's jump into the, to the lesson. Paano ba natin makoconvince yung mga client natin na tayo ay magaling at dapat tayong i-hire as social media managers. Okay? So, um, who, sino yung gusto yung topic ngayon? Like, excited. Can you please type in, I'm excited, I'm ready, let's go. Ang haba. Just type in, I'm ready, or I'm excited. Ayan. So, yeah. Um, hi, everyone. Guys, alam nyo, um, I just want tip. Yung mga nagko-comment dito sa ating live session, you have to connect with them. Lalo na yung mga uh, tao na meron ng mga clients. So that you have someone to ask, meron kayong kaibigan, meron kayong, alam nyo yon. Kasi honestly, hindi nyo ako makakausap lagi. Uh, kasi super uh, dami ng ginagawa ko. But, The SWAG Team community is always here for you guys. Kaibiganin nyo yan. 
yung mga nandiyan saan. So, uh, si Ao, si Mami Connie, andito si Christine, hi! So, andito po yung mga friends natin, makipagkaibigan tayo. Let's really build a community para magtulungan tayo. That's just a tip. Kasi ako po, um, when I was starting, wala akong kasama. And it was really difficult. Um, but now that we have a community, I encourage you to be friends with one another and have this attitude na maging uh, ano yan, friendly so that you will have you will grow your connections okay so yeah <laughs> hello <laughs> ayan i'm ready okay excited i love it i love the energy let's go so unang muna ang before natin sagutin tong tanong na to how to convince the client una niyo muna tanungin ang ang actually ang ang Nung nakita ko tong tanong na to, ang una kong tanong is, sino ba yung client na kakausapin mo? Kasi, there are different types of clients, and depende sa type ng client na kakausapin natin, or sa uh, client na apa, uh, gusto nating um, i-offer yung services natin, depende yung, ano, depende yon So, ano ba yung mga klase ng mga client? Una, startup entrepreneur. Pangalawa, yan, small business owner. Then, medium-sized business owner, and then established company owner, and then may iba dyan, multi-company owner, then yung iba dyan, agency. Okay, so before you apply as social media manager, kailangan nyo munang malaman, ano ba yung in, sino ba tong a-applyan ko? Kasi, ang preparation po, before you become, or before you get a client, kahit hindi SMM, before you get a client, kailangan yung si client at ikaw merong connection merong something na talagang alam niyo yun, meron merong dahilan para i-hire kanya merong dahilan para i- para mag-apply ka sa kanya so ano yung mga dahilan na yun unang-una you have to know sino muna siya kasi for example sa mga wala pang experience it's very difficult to get into this multi company uh entrepreneurs, it's difficult to uh, get the job sa established company. Alam nyo yun? So, you have to know muna kasi the reason why we get rejected, it's because hindi dahil sa hindi tayo magaling. It's just that yung experience natin is hindi sakto dun sa hinahanap ni client. That's why if you want to become a social media manager, I really uh, encourage you guys sa mga wala pang experience, find someone na talagang nag-start pa lang siya or uh, small to medium size. Yung first three na yan, kung nag-start pa lang si entrepreneur uh, at kung hindi pa ganun kalaki yung business niya, there is great potential na iha-hire nila yung someone na kahit wala pa masyadong experience. Kasi, um, etong mga to, budget-wise, wala silang malaking ipang papasweldo sa inyo, but they need, they really need help. Okay? So, um, I do not want to tackle the question na, eh, paano pagbababa yung rate, ganyan-ganyan, because kayo lang po yung makakasagot nun. Um, I've been sharing my experience that I started as customer support. I started with the lowest rate that the client can offer for me, and I accepted it. And, Masama ba yun? Sabi nila, maraming nagko-comment na, I am, if you do that, you will ruin the reputation of the Filipino freelancers. Um, pero kasi, you guys, uh, <laughs> siguro kung sasabihan mo ako noon, eh, hindi mo naman alam ko ano yung pinagdadaanan ko. I really need this job. And um, sometimes, uh, I know that I can still wait. I can still find ways to get a client. I can still study and find the better client and get the you know, proper rate, makipag-negotiate ng maayos na rate. It's just that I need I need money right now. So, yun talaga yung reason ko. Bakit? Um, bakit? And and you cannot refute or you cannot really tell a person, wag ka muna mag-apply. Dapat maganto yung rate mo. Hindi mo talaga yun maaano sa tao kasi every one of us, we have different, um, we have different, you know, uh, situations na, um, alam natin na tayo lang din yung nakakaalam what's the best decision for us. Anyway, so dun sa sinasabi ko, itong mga startup entrepreneurs, small business owners, these people, they do not have that 
large amount of budget para dun sa kanilang virtual assistant, but they really need help. And um, they are willing to uh, teach you, they are willing to give you the resources na magkaroon ka ng training, pero hindi ganun kalaki yung sweldo. Kasi nga, they are just starting, they are trying to grow the business. Okay? So, yun yung mga dapat nating malaman. Ngayon, kung ganun sila, then, ang attitude mo dyan dapat is, you, you, you need to be uh, someone na talagang dedicated na mag-grow, na uh, mag-study and all. Okay? So, pero kung ikaw naman ay naghahanap ng someone na established company na, multi-company na, at yung agency na talagang mabilisan, madamihan, na ginagawa sa social media, then you, you need to really build a good portfolio. Okay? And then, I will teach you guys later on um, kung ano ba yung mga dapat nating i-prepare. Like, ano ba yung basic things na dapat laman ng ating social media por- portfolio. And dun sa discussion ko last session, sino yung nandito last session? Um, uh, dun sa discussion ko last, uh, last session, ano ba yung muna nga dapat ayusin natin sa sarili natin before we create our portfolio? And sinabi ko doon yung mga platforms. That's LinkedIn, uh, online jobs, or Upwork, and then you have your Facebook and your Instagram. Guys, i-ready nyo yung apat na to because ito yung mga pwede nyo ipakita sa mga clients nyo. And kung wala kayo nyan, they might think that you are not a serious applicant or that you are not competitive kasi they cannot see your digital presence, your online presence na tinatawag. Okay? So, yon. Alamin nyo muna kung sino yung client. Alright? Ngayon, um, para ma-hire ka niya, is you need to know kung ano yung totoong mga kailangan niya. Like, next slide natin is, what's their problem that I can solve? Kasi, simple lang naman talaga, guys. It, it Do not complicate things. The reason why we can work online is because may mga entrepreneurs or mga business owners na gustong mag-hire uh, kahit hindi ka mag sa office nila, di ba? Pero, it doesn't mean na parang virtual or malabo yung kailangan. No. Actually, napaka-simple lang po. They have a problem, they need help, and so, you can solve the problem and you are a good candidate. Napaka-simple lang. So, know what you can do for them and present yourself as someone who is really passionate and good at, the ta- at that task. So, um... Para ikaw ay ma-hire, kahit wala ka pang portfolio or kahit hindi ka pa experience na SMM, you need to identify what's their problem. You need to identify what's their problem. And you need to identify how you can solve that problem. Be specific. So, if you want to become, mamaya, pag-uusapan natin, ano ba yung mga karaniwang problema ng mga clients, okay? Pero ito ang tatandaan nyo, these clients are getting virtual assistance because they lack time. Time. So, they need to leverage our time so that while they are doing other things, then ginagawa natin yung mga operational, yung mga admin tasks. That's the, that's how it works. So, ang una natin yung offer is time. And at the same, uh, after that, skills. And then, uh, we have to mix it with good personality. Okay? So, before, kahit na hindi ka mag smm kahit na mag apply ka ng work, you need to identify what's their problem and B, and then kapag nag interview na or what before mag interview actually, before the interview, you need to prepare how you will explain to them that you can solve their problem. Okay? Alisin nyo po yung mindset na, okay, mag apply ako, ito yung alam ko, ito yung alam ko, ito yung alam ko. Kukunin mo ba ako? <laughs> o kaya naman, ito yung alam ko, ito yung alam ko. Ano yung pwede sa akin na role? Hindi ganon. You have to be clear. You should have clarity. I can solve this problem. I can do this. And I know that you need this. And so the client will, you know, sige, kaya mong gawin yan. And this is my rate. Do you agree? So, simple lang po talaga. So, let's not complicate things. We just have to focus kung ano yung dapat nating alamin. So, identify the problem of this client or of this 
people, ano yung pwede nyong may offer to solve that uh, problem, right? So, um, so far po, to, uh, okay, hi, hello po, I'm just checking the messages. Okay, so, so far guys, ang, ang, hindi lang siguro malinaw sa atin, paano ko malalaman yung problems ng mga clients? Well, mababasa nyo po yun sa job description. Kung kailangan nila ng someone na gagawa nito, gagawa niyan, then you have to prepare for that. Kahit, kahit like, kaya nga sabi ko, wag kayong send lang ng send ng mga application. You have to really uh, understand kung ano yung problema ng client. Not really a problem or what are they need or yung mga kailangan nila. And then, you have to make sure that you have something to offer. Okay? Ngayon, um, Kapag kasi sinabi natin, paano yan? Hindi ko alam gawin. Hindi ko, hindi ko, hindi ko alam kung kaya kong isupport. Um, the, uh, honestly, nung nagsisimula ako, takot din ako doon. I mean, paano ba yun? Hindi ko talaga alam. Wala pa kasi experience, ganyan. <sighs> hindi po yun matuturo ng kahit sino because kayo lang po matututo noon. Experience, you have to try. Don't be afraid to fail. And if you fail, Alam mo yun, alabi mo kung ba't ka nagkamali and then just try it again. So, try, try, and just really throw yourself into, into, uh, kung baga, lakasan mo yung loob mo na mag-try lang. Okay? Ngayon, um, when, kapag magta-try ka na, is, or when say, ini-interview ka na, ito yung top three ko, be excited about the job, and be prepared with the knowledge and skills they would like to hear from you and do your homework. Kapag ikaw ay magiging social media manager, or if, if you want to become a social media manager, yung a applyan mo, you have to read carefully the description, okay? And then, if you feel na may knowledge ka naman doon, and if you, if you feel na nagawa mo na siya dati, then go! Kahit hindi ka pa nagkaroon ng experience, go, just try it. Pero kung ikaw ay walang ka-idea kung ano yon. Do not lose heart. Just take time. Oops. Just take time. How you can... Uh, okay, alisin ko nga lang ito. Hang net. Um, hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry sa interruption. Okay. So, uh, do your homework. Sinasabi ko kanina. And uh, itry nyo lang talaga. Kung, kung ang SMM... As a social media manager, guys, walang special na kailangan yung parang, ah, kailangan, kailangan yata, parang may talent ka mag-drawing, may talent ka ganyan. Hindi po, lahat po maaaral. Kasi may mga social media managers na ang ginagawa is mag-manage ng page. So that is something that you can learn, right? And there are uh, so many tutorials on how to do that. Um, uh, dito lang sa knowledge and energy, sinasabi ko dito yung energy, Sa tingin nyo guys, makikinig ba kayo sa akin kung magsasalita ako na parang walang, ano yun, parang walang energy, parang tinatamad, ganyan. Same as with you, pag ini-interview kayo, you have to make sure that you are doing your effort. nag effort ka talaga na mag-smile, be, alam yun, makikinig ka ng mabuti, and then, ayun, those tips sa pag interview Alam ko, marami nang nagsasabi niyan. And if you've been following my page, paulit-ulit ko nang sinasabi yan. Um, kung gusto nyo i-remind yung sarili nyo sa mga interview tips, pumunta po kayo sa video section, manood po kayo, and really prepare for your interviews. Okay? Um, ngayon, ito yung gusto kong pag-usapan. Ano ba ba yung mga ginagawa ng social media manager? Um... Uh, Kasi kapag ka gusto natin ma- ma-hire, kahit wala tayong experience, okay, fine, wala kang experience. Pero at least man lang, alam mo yung mga gagawin. ba And alam mo, may idea ka kung paano yun. Hindi mo man siya nagawa na actual sa business, pero at least alam mo kung anong ibig sabihin nun, alam mo kung ano yung gagawin doon. So kahit wala ka pang experience, alam mo. So today, today is... Iyan yung pag-uusapan natin. And nag-request dati si uh, Mommy Rose. Sabi ni Mommy Rose, um, gusto niya sanang mag-request ng ano ba yung mga, um, ano ba yung mga pwedeng 
Pero parang lumit pala yung screen ko, no? <laughs> uh, sabi niya, ano, ano po ba yung, ano, ano po ba yung mga uh, ginagawa ng um, uh, social media managers, tsaka ano ba yung mga terms na pwede kong uh, alamin or yung mga dapat kong alamin, sabi niya. So, yun, um, inaayos ko lang tong screen ko. Ayan. Okay. Uh, so, pag-usapan natin yung mga terms. Tapos, kung may mga hindi kayo alam na terms, then you can uh, ask it right now. So, masasagot ko siya today. Uh, if, if I can't be perfect, baka hindi ko alam lahat. And then, kung may hindi ako alam, I would love to research on that. But feel free to ask. Yung mga terms na hindi nyo alam sa social media, sasagutin natin siya today. Alright? So, um, what are the tasks? Unahin natin yung setting up. Okay? And then, susunod yung management, and then strategy, and then content creation, market research, and audience building. I-explain ko kung ano yung mga ibig sabihin yan para kapag ka nag-interview kayo, um, pag tinanong, uh, tinanong kayo sa, sa interview, ano ba yung mga alam mo sa social media? Well, I know how to set it up. I know how to manage it. I know some few strategies. I know how to create uh, content uh, on social media. I know how to do market research. And I know how to do audience building. Um, uh, ulitin ko lang ha, you said that you know how. It doesn't necessarily mean that you were able to do it before. Okay? So, pwede kang makakuha ng client kahit wala ka pang experience dahil meron kang um, knowledge about it. Okay? Um, and honestly, hindi nyo naman, hindi, yung social media, hindi naman yan yung something na parang um, uh, may parang dapat alam mo to and then it applies to everything no kasi social media is something uh, nagbabago lagi and iba yung social media strategy na mag apply sa gantong business iba yung mga content na nag apply or effective sa gantong business so iba-iba talaga yan that's why it's important na alam nyo siya it doesn't necessarily mean na kaya nyo siyang gawin on a business kind of level. Kasi honestly, hindi naman din hahayaan ni client na bigla nyo na lang aayusin yung social media nila na wala silang ka-idea-idea. Kasi sila pa rin yung magda-direct sa inyo. Unless you are someone na talagang, alam yun, parang social media consultant ka na tapos ikaw na yung mag-aayos ng social media page ng business na yun, then di ka na pakikailaman. Kasi sa VA setup or sa online setup, yung mga entrepreneurs, gusto nila uh, you work together and nagbe-brainstorm kayo and pabago-bago yung mga pwede nyong gawin. So, it's important na alam nyo lang kung ano yung dapat gawin, kung ano yung mga terms, and then you you will sound knowledgeable na ah, may knowledge ako. May knowledge po ako dyan. I know that. This is how we do it. Okay? So, um, Ayan, I'll just check the comments. Baka may mga questions. So far, guys, malinaw ba? Malinaw ba yung, ano, yung pag-uusapan na natin today is ano ba yung mga tasks? Pag-uusapan natin yung setting up. Setting up. Ang term na setting up, I mean, sa, sa setting up process, yung mga terms na maano nyo dyan is optimized profile. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng optimized profile? Pag sinabi yung optimized profile, kompleto yung profile mo and doon yung links at um, when i say links yan yung mga gustong i-promote ng business and doon yung mga gustong uh, yung may, yung mga business goals ng client mo is makikita agad doon sa profile and then pag sinabing optimized maganda tignan okay so um, if you will visit my page sa Instagram Kung makikita nyo doon, parang, di ba, uh, maayos, may mga, uh, kumbaga, hindi lang basta-basta. So, maayos yung tignan, tapos may mga links, tapos, nandoon yung mga right keywords na magde-define sa kung sino ako, 
kung ano yung ginagawa ko or ano yung characters ko. That's what we call an optimized profile. Ibig sabihin, kompleto. So, kapag sinabi ni customer or ni client na I want to set up an optimized profile, that's what they meant. Okay? Or, so, halip, minsan, alam nyo nangyayari, mga clients, hindi nila alam talaga kung ano yung dapat nilang gawin sa social media. I just need the social media manager. Pero, honestly, wala silang ibibigay na direction kasi even themselves, hindi nila alam gawin. So, you have to tell them, maybe sa interview nyo, I can help you optimize your profile. I can make you look, uh, I can make your profile look uh, professional and we will add there the links that is very helpful for the business. So, good yon. Kung baga, wow, magugustuhan na yun agad ni client na, okay, I need that. So, um, yun na yung isa mong skill na alam. And then, so, uh, optimized profile should be complete and informative profile. And then, um, so, may mga, trick, may mga tricks dyan. Um, bigyan ko kayo ng trick. Alimbawa sa Instagram nyo, ayusin nyo yung Instagram nyo. Siyempre, sasabihin nyo na alam nyo mag-optimize ng profile, tapos yung Instagram nyo hindi optimized. So, that's wrong. Okay, so, punta kayo dun sa Instagram ko. Huwag muna. Stay muna kayo dito. Later on, just check my Instagram profile. And then, syempre, mag-follow na din kayo. <laughs> and then, i-check nyo dun. Makikita nyo parang line, line, line. Um, isang problem ng mga tao, hindi nila alam kung paano mag-break ng line. Actually, ang technique ko dun is you have to open a notepad. Uh, so, sa akin sa phone ko is mag-open ako ng notes. Yun yung application. And then, dun ako sa notes, magbe-break. And then, copy para uh, line, line, line. Kasi kapag dun sa Instagram, parang isang line lang siya. Tapos parang, mag kahit, kahit in-space mo na, ni-next space mo na, kumakabit pa rin dun. I don't know, if you guys experience that, sa mga hindi pa nagtatry, wala kayong idea ng ibig sabi rin sabi ko, that's fine. Malalaman nyo yun kapag ka nag, uh, inayos yung Instagram nyo. So, uh, try nyo lang and then maglagay kayo ng emojis, yon para mas cool tingnan and it should really look uh, as, uh, as a, an optimized profile. Okay? So, familiarity with platforms. Gusto nyo ba yun, guys? I mean, sino excited mag-optimize ng profile nila? So, you have to uh, optimize your profile when it comes sa inyong LinkedIn, sa inyong... Um, Instagram or sa Facebook or if you run your own uh, Facebook page, then you have to optimize your uh, hindi, lang sa, hindi lang sa Instagram ang kailangan niya optimize all of the uh, online presence that you have, so social media lahat yan dapat optimized so if you will look at this uh, page yung aking work at home geek page so it's, it's optimized kasi andyan yung aking maayos na cover photo Diyan yung aking uh, logo or parang picture. Diba yung apat na squares na yan nandiyan sa baba? So, and then, andun yung story, andun yung links ng blog. So, it's optimized kasi kompleto. Right? So, you have to do that as well. So, paano ma-optimize yung mga profiles ng maayos? Then, you have to get your picture. You have to get your, uh, when I say picture, it should be professional. Hindi naman yung klaseng parang pang model talaga. Hindi naman required na ganun. It just has to, uh, it has to be very, um, uh, parang sharp. Hindi yung malabo na copy. Alam mo yung parang lumang picture, hindi. So, dapat sharp yung picture, maayos yung lighting, um, tapos professional yung suot, or gusto nyo may character. Gaya sa akin, di ba? So, ang, um, Usually, na ginagamit ko yung picture ko na may sombrero or yan, yung mga, may mga picture na iba-iba yung color ng hair ko. So, it depends on your personality really, but the picture should be clear. Maayos yung, alam nyo yun, sharp siya. So, yon Okay? Um, ayusin nyo siya. So, picture, tapos yung description. Pero, di ba, <laughs> sa previous uh, live session ko, the, the page... Bago nyo siya gawin or in yung portfolio, alamin nyo muna yung mission, vision, meron kayong clarity kung saan papunta yung career nyo. And really, just the foundation. Isettle nyo muna yung ano yung gusto nyo gawin sa sarili nyo. So that, when you create your page, um, hindi ka tatambay doon sa about me ng matagal. Kasi, 
naayos mo na yung foundation, alam mo yung gagawin mo, alam mo yung i-offer mo, and then you have the pictures, you have to prepare for that. Really, I mean, um, ayusin nyo po yung mga profile nyo so that clients will really see that you are working hard on your social media presence. And the more that they will believe that you are really passionate about what you're doing. Okay? So, um... Okay, Benedicto, hello, Christy, loud and clear, okay. I am trying to be active po in all my social media accounts. Before po kasi, kapag naisipan ko lang mag-post, dun lang nag-visit mga social. Ah, yeah, Jeleni, that's really good point. I mean, magandang ano yun, na nanaraise mo siya. Kasi, if you are pursuing social media uh, uh, career, hindi ka pwedeng, hindi ka, hindi pwedeng wala kang presence. Kasi, um, unang-una, number one reason ko is, hindi ka masasanay sa paggamit ng tools. Okay? Alam, tinan nyo guys, um, I will give you this example. Sino dito, like mga April 2018 or March, February 2018 na sumasali na sa live session ko? Um, so, mga talagang solid na swag team, yung mga noon-noon pa, alam nila na parang crappy minsan yung, yung aking live session. Minsan, talagang ang gulo ng buko, hindi ako nag-aayos. So, kaya naman, uh, kung ano-ano tools na ginagamit ko, hindi maayos tignan. Pero, nag improve kasi ginagawa ko siya lagi. That's the reason why you always have to be on social media. It's not because gusto mong mag-feeling ano or whatever. It's because you are trying to enhance your skills and you want to be familiar with the tools. And um, itong ginagamit ko na tool, this is very helpful. Um, kasi nung nagla-live ako, sabi ko, ang hirap naman, ganito, ganyan, ganyan. Ano ba yung mga tools na pwede? So, there is growth when you are doing the actual thing. If you are not doing the actual thing, there's nothing you can share. Really. I mean, about tinanong ka ni client, what do you know about social media? Ako, sasabihin ko sa kanya, I was able to grow my page. I am doing live session. Um, how I do I li- how do I uh, do live sessions? I, I use this software. I prepare this. I prepare that. I schedule my content. So, I have so many things that I can share. It's because I am doing the actual thing. Rather than Alam mo yun, oh, I know that, I read that, tapos hindi mo ma-explain ng maayos because you're not doing the actual thing. Dahil wala kang sariling training. You have to train yourself. No one is training me, honestly. I, I wala akong mentor. I mean, nagpa-follow ako sa mga magagaling sa uh, social media managers sa US, sa UK, or kung sino mang magaling sa ibang bansa, yung talagang mga successful, ganyan. But personally, walang nagpa-train sa akin. I train myself that, and as I train myself, I am sharing the knowledge to all of you. Para sama-sama tayong nag-train. So that's really the goal. I'm, I'm here to remind you what are the things that, that you can do to help you get started, to give you the knowledge or share you the knowledge. Pero it's still up to you kung hindi nyo yan gagawin. Right? Okay. So, um, okay, may question tayo. Flexible po ba time ng SMM? Uh, Diana, it depends sa client. Um, as a social media manager sa dalawang clients, super flexible yung time ko. I just have to make sure na nasasagot ko yung uh, mga messages for the entire day. O kaya naman, sa strategy session, I'm there. And then, I'm, I'm doing my market research. I'm doing... So, lahat yun ginagawa ko on my own time. So, um, if you are interested sa gusto nyong maging social media manager, you can um, apply to us kasi may mga clients kami na naghahanap ng mga social media managers then Although hindi ko alam kung gaano karami na yung clients na nag apply but we accept applicants. So, you can uh, send a message sa aking uh, Facebook page, etong Work at Home Geek na to. Send the mess, uh, i- mag-send kayo ng message, click get a client, ayan yun nasa baba, get a client, and then i-click nyo yung post, blog post ko, then follow the instructions. 
then you know if you want to really pursue it then you have to study it first you have to prepare and you have to be very passionate about it you will do the real thing right okay so next natin setting up pa lang tayo dami ko nang sinabi <laughs> okay and um management so management ano yung importante na dapat nating alam sa management pag tinanong ka ni client ano yung alam mo sa pag-manage ng social media you have to tell them that uh, i believe uh, managing the social media page is the same as managing the customers so someone should have this good customer service skills it's a good uh, english communications and that you have this attitude that you are making sure that every customer is taken care of wow diba yun yung pinaka kailangan ng mga clients the reason that the, the the main purpose is to grow the business and how they can grow the business they need to get income i mean they need to generate sales and how do they generate sales they need to have an audience and how do they Uh, get this audience, of course, they have to take care of their audience. Tasagutin ko ano yung tanong, aalamin kung ano yung kailangan nila, you will take care of them. So, that is really the idea of, honestly, social media marketing, it's really a huge topic. Pwedeng sa content creation, digital creation, pwedeng sa customer service, pwedeng sa strategy, maraming, maraming involved. That's why, alamin nyo kung ano yung kailangan ni client. Okay? And siguro tip ko lang is you have to start dun sa madali muna. And customer service is the easiest. So, um, you, you know, you have to improve your English communications. And then, mapaprove nyo sa kanila na um, you've been trying to be familiar with the page or with the, with the tools or with the platforms. So, yan. Um, research skills, sabihin nyo, Number one, kahit wala pa kayong experience, sabihin nyo kay client na um, I am the kind of person who is very resourceful. If I do not know the answer, I research on my own and um, I make sure that I have clear understanding of what's the problem so that I will be able to give the, the, the right solution. So yung way ng pag, ano nyo, way ng pag pag convince nyo kay client it all depends sa kung ano yung yung knowledge nyo sa 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 skill na yon and kung ano yung personality nyo na idadagdag doon kasi even though the talent is there pagka feeling nila wala kayong leadership skills kumbaga yung parang lagi kayong kailangan i-guide yung wala kayong initiative wala kayong um parang ang hirap yung kumbaga parang laging dapat kasama si client, eh, hindi nga dapat ganun, di ba? Kasi, they are hiring virtual assistants or they are hiring freelancers because they do not have time. So, kung igagide ka niya all throughout the process, most likely, bibitawan ka ni client. Okay? And detail-oriented. Make sure na, yun nga, um, you know, uh, kung, kung may sinabi si client na ganito, you have to take note of it and talagang um, susundin mo siya. So, for example, Um, ako, I am managing a, a social media page and sabi ni client na um, I, am, I, I want to make sure that, uh, that the reviews section, lahat yun nasasagot or kapag may nag-review, mag-thank you, ganyan. So, okay, yun yung task, right? Then, ako, para para ba make sure ko na naintindihan kong mabuti at I have all the and I have all the details that I need then I will ask questions. Okay? So ano yung mga kailangan kong alamin para ah okay sige. So I will answer this comments sa review section. Um I will be drafting my sample responses. Can you just double check and then uh, how can I improve? And then, alam mo yun, aalamin mo yung mga details and then you have to remember that. So, kung in na yun ni client, hindi mo siya ilalagay somewhere lang. Ilalagay mo siya sa Google Docs, ibubookmark mo siya, tapos, para proof, para efficient ka, so that kapag ka may, kapag ka may sasagutan ka, you just pull up the, the bookmark, open the Google Docs, copy, paste, mabilis. So, hindi mo siya itatype manually. You know, so you have to be detailed-oriented. You have to know your process. And you have to be able to express 
kay clients kung paano mo siya i-accomplish. Okay, so I may need to stop. I mean, break lang. Baka na-overwhelm kayo. If there are questions, then I will answer that. Okay? Sige, tingnan natin ang inyo. Na-overwhelm ba kayo? Sinong na-overwhelm? Sino yung mga parang natatakot? I do not want you guys to feel that. I am I do not, you know, hindi ko sinasabi yung mga knowledge ko para sabihin lang na ang dami kong alam. No, I want to share this knowledge with the intent na mag- matutunan nyo siya and may apply nyo siya. Kasi nonsense naman kung turo ako ng turo dito, tapos hindi nyo pala na-absorb or hindi nyo alam i-apply sa inyo. Okay? Um, let's uh, let's see some questions. Okay lang, Miss Lala. You're so beautiful. <laughs> Kaya din nag Thank you po. Yes, Miss Lala. Mas madali talaga i-explain pag nagamit mo na at ginagamit mo na. Exactly. Geraldine, thanks. Tama yun. Ano ang difference ng social media manager as a social media marketing? Social media marketing po, yun yung ginagawa mo mismo. Yung gagawa ka ng content, magpa-publish ka, yung pinaka tawag doon sa ginagawa mo. And then, the social media manager is the person doing it. Okay? So, yun po yung kaibahan. Um, ano bang magandang example na parang uh, analogy nun? So, so, yeah. so, for example, you are, ako, computer engineering. Graduate ako ng computer engineering. So, I am a computer engineer. So, ganun po. Yun po yung parang uh, comparison. I hope that is clear po. Hi! Hi, D! Kamusta? You're here. Um, I ho- I- I'm ko super busy ka. <laughs> I hope you're okay. Mm, ganda, Miss Lala. Wow, okay. Still trying to study one day at a time. How much po ang starting rate as social media manager? Um, Rachel, uh, sa amin, the starting rate is $3. And you will work on a flexible schedule. So, yon. Um, I don't know kung ano yung pinakamababa. Halimbawa, nakipag-bargain si client ng, halimbawa, sinabi ni client, ang afford ko lang is $2, ganyan. Kung, kung kailang, kung tatanggapin ba yon o hindi, it, it's up to you po. So, yon. Um, okay. So, okay. Walang na-overwhelm. Mukhang okay lang lahat. Thank you for sharing. Yes, improving and mas blooming. <laughs> Thank you, Gladys. Yan, nag effort din talaga ako na ayusin yung lighting and i-improve man lang. So, medyo nagsuklay ako today. So, <laughs> okay. Next, uh, okay na tayo sa management, right? Then, strategy. Ngayon, um, sabihin ng iba, lang hirap naman yung strategy. Wala pa nga akong experience, eh. Ganyan, ganyan. I will explain to you guys what strategy really is and you don't you don't need to complicate this social media strategy thing, okay? The strategy that you will do is like um in explain ko siya before sa session ko, sabi ko parang ang ang social media strategies mako-compare mo siya as uh unang-una pala iba-iba yan, iba-iba per business, iba-iba per platform, iba-iba yan. So, hindi mo siya social media strategy. Ano yun? Pagtapos kapag nalaman mo na para magaling ka na doon, tapos pwede ka na magka-work. No. Social media strategy is something that you need to understand. Uh, alamin mo lang yung foundation para makagawa ka ng maayos na strategy. Actually, you have to create your own social media strategy if you will be creating your own Facebook page. When, when you are going to create your social media strategy, you have to understand that it's yung meaning muna niya, okay? Ang mi- kapag ka sinabing social media strategy, parang, alimbawa, may plano ka na mag-travel, gusto mo pumunta sa South Korea. Anyo nga sa iyos, ganun. <laughs> so, punta ka ng South Korea. Ang strategy mo is, paano ka pupunta doon? Ano yung mga gagawin mo? Ano yung mga dapat mong tandaan? So, yun yung sinatawag nating social media strategy. So, social media strategy is, magagawa mo lang siya if you set your goals first. Okay? So, gaya nung sinabi ko sa personal branding session natin, last, last uh, sessions, yung personal branding mo, you need to know who, your foundation muna, alam mo yung purpose mo, alam mo yung gagawin ng page mo, and alam mo yung parang 
number one call to action mo sa mga nandoon sa page mo. Right? Um, sa aking page, ang lagi lang call to action is to send us a message. You need to send us a message para malaman mo kung ano yung mga dapat mong malaman. Kasi yun lang din, yun yung number one instruction ko. So, you have to create a strategy for that. I mean, pwedeng ako send a message. Ikaw, pwedeng yung strategy mo is ikiklik, mapupunta ka sa website. Or pwedeng uh, magre-register for event, something like that. Iba-iba. But you have to understand, ang elements ng strategy is how you really accomplish the goal. So, ang elements nun is, ano yung goal and how you will do it. And the goal and how you will do it. So, ano yung mga dapat natin alam sa strategy is, see what's trending. So, pag halimbawa, tinanong ka ni client sa interview, um, how do you think I will be able to grow my social media followers? So, yung question na yun, kahit hindi ka pa exactly nakapag-grow ng marami, as in like parang thousands of followers, as long as you're doing it. Kasi may something ka na masyashare. So, ako, for example, nung nag-start ako um, last year, ang strategy ko is, I, and this is actually the best strategy ever, <laughs> best strategy ever, is you have to be someone who is not madamot. I mean, you, you, you give value, you take care of your audience. And I believe I was able to do that. I mean, you guys, diba, if you feel niya that I am really taking care of you, that I am really wanting to make you successful, right? That's the kind of uh, strategy that I do. And it's not really like a strategy na parang, sige na nga, tulungan ko na nga to. But no, it's being genuine, right? Hindi lang sa, mm, sabi, sabi nila dapat magbigay ng value, oh, bigay nga ako ng value. People will not follow you because people will know if you're faking it or not. So you have to be very authentic. And you have to, you, you don't need to be someone like whoever. Hindi mo kailangan mag-copy. You just know that you have to give value. So iba-iba yung ways para magbigay ka ng value. Iba-iba yung ways ng, uh, uh, para ma-take ma- care mo yung audience mo. Right? So, but the idea is you have to take care of the audience. So, going back sa question, pag tinanong ka ni client, what's the, uh, how will you grow the, the social media followers? Or how will you grow my Instagram followers? Ganyan. Um, sabihin mo sa kanya is, I believe that uh, the main reason why people follow the page, just like for myself, I follow people who I believe give value to me as an audience. So, I believe that is what is needed for you to grow your audience. So, hindi, hindi kailangan na may, may experience ka na when you say that, di ba? You can just say that. Kasi, totoo yun eh, di ba? We follow people na, ta, mga, gust, na mga nakakatulong sa atin na nagbibigay ng value or kaya na na-entertain tayo. So, that is actually an intelligent answer na magugustuhan ni client because you have good understanding of what social media marketing is or what is, you know, necessary to grow the audience, right? So, hello, ayan. I have to go nagpasama si mama to buy something. <laughs> okay, mommy Rose, ingat po. Ayan. <laughs> okay, yan. Re- watching right now. Hi, Rosette. Richelle, Hello. Inais, Magos, High School. Saan po makikita yung units? Units po is nasa Swag Team Group. So, search nyo lang po sa Facebook. Swag Team. S-W-A-H-G-T-E-A-T-E-A-M. Okay? So, yan. Going back. See, uh, so, alam nyo na yung strategy, right? So, uh, see what is trending. So, sa trending naman, ito naman kung ano yung mga gagawin mo na. So, you have the strategy, right? You will give value. And then, ano na, yung, ano na yung mga trending? Ano ba yung nagugustuhan ng mga tao? Kasi, ang sa social media, it's really about the audience. It's really about making sure that people will hit that, you know, um, whatever button, like or follow, or whatever that you want them to do. Um, honestly, sa page ko, it's just, I want you guys to follow me so that whenever I have something to say, when I have something to share, you will be able to get that. And that's really what I want you guys to do. 
uh, hit the share button or I'm sorry, hit the like and follow button and yeah, send me a message so that you get connected. So, ngayon, ang, ang sinasabi na what is trending, ano yung mga ginagawa ng mga tao is paano mo sila mapapa, uh, paano mo, paano mo makukonvince sila na kailangan gawin na yun. So, you have to produce content and you have to know what's trending. And, and honestly, Um, tigilan po natin yung mga social media marketing na subo lang tayo ng subo sa mga bilin nyo to, bilin nyo to, bilin nyo to without really giving value because tapos na yung tapos na yung panahon na yung mga tao is bibili lang dahil nakita nila sa TV hindi, bibili sila because first, they find your brand authentic, second is the product is really good or the service is really, it's a service na may talagang quality. So, if you want to become successful sa social media, you have to make sure that ikaw mismo, you have va- something valuable to offer to the clients or to the to the audience. Okay? So, having that kind of knowledge, kapag tinanong ka ni client is, um, ano yung mga trending, then I believe the trending thing is, uh, ganito, gagawa ng video, inspirational quotes, or something that will engage them, mga questions, ganyan. So, there are so many things, and paano nyo po yun, paano kayo magkakaroon ng knowledge to do that, is you have to follow successful social media campaigns, or yung mga social media brands na malalaki na. Let, just take a look at what they are doing, and matututo po kayo. So, For example, ah, in po ngayon yung mga may videos and then may mga text sa taas. Maybe we can do that. Just a suggestion. So, para may nasasabi ka during um, interview and you will sound as if someone na talagang passionate and you really want to get that job. Kasi, papakita mo na inaaral mo talaga yon, Right? Okay. So, next is be observant. So, whenever we are on social media, You have to see what what these people are doing. Ano yung ano yung mga uh, hindi nagwo-work. Aside from the fact, uh, I mean aside from the idea na aalamin mo kung ano yung trending, aalamin mo kung ano yung mga hindi mo dapat gawin, yung mga maling ginagawa ng mga tao. So, uh, be observant para hindi mo gagawin yung mga maling ginagawa nila. Next is knowledgeable about the business strategies that may work. That's why it's important that you follow company brands na ma- 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 maayos sa social media. For example, ano bang, sino bang gustong-gusto kong fina-follow na company sa social media? I think yung number one is the Lady Boss. Lady Boss, this is um, parang health and fitness. So, I like Lady Boss. Um, search niya siya. So, gusto ko yung content niya. And then, parang napaka-authentic niya. It's really like, um, and then, ang genuine talaga ng mga comments ng mga followers niya. That is something that I really, I'm really looking for a brand. Yung tipong hindi lang benta ng benta, alam mo yun? So, you really have to build connection with your audience. Kasi, um, honestly, if you will just uh, tell people na bumili, it's only for your benefit and wala silang benefit doon. And as a person, alam mo yun, I always want to follow people or to purchase products na alam ko na itong company na to is uh, will really take care of me, will are really good and have good vision and mission and values. So, yun, ganun, ganun po yung um, strong social media presence para sa akin. So, um, in order for you to do that, magkaroon ka ng magandang strategy is you have to align. So, hindi ko sinasabi na parang tulong na lang tayo ng tulong tapos wala na tayong ganun. Hindi naman. Kasi business has to, business is business. Kailangan yun kumita. Um, you, you, you will give them a, a good strategy but at the same time, dun sa strategy na yun is naka, naka, naka-connect pa din kung paano mag-grow yung business. So, Um, for example, share ko lang uh, sa isa kong client, um, he is doing the same strategy. That's why uh, ito din yung tinuturo ko sa inyo. This is something that I've learned from him. Uh, he, he is, uh, nasa ano na yung page, uh, half million, 600,000 uh, followers na. And the, the, the strategy is, 
is just giving value, magbibigay siya ng mga uh, helpful videos. And then dun sa mga helpful videos na yon, he um he will just tell, he will add there a link na kung saan pwede sila mag-purchase ng product sa Amazon. So that strategy is uh, alam niyo yung strategy na magbibigay ka ng value but at the same time you are selling something and the business will still grow. And aalamin niyo kung ano yung mga uh, business strategies na magwo-work. For example, sa client mo um, if if your client is uh, doing a niche of, for example, fitness, so you have to know what's trending. You have to know kung ano ba yung mga nag-work. So you have to know kung ano bang magandang business strategy. Una ba, dapat ba, kukunin mo muna yung email nila o kailangan ba, subscribe mo sila sa chatbot, yung mga ganun. So these are hardcore uh, strategies, but at least, you will have knowledge about it. So, ang takeaway nyo lang, guys, para ngayon, para hindi kayo ma-overwhelm, is kapag tinanong kayo ni client na, how do you think social media can help my business? Limbawa, tinanong kayo ng ganon. The, the best answer is, I believe that as we build the, the audience, we can sell products to them. And uh, we can do it through chatbots. So, you can say something about chatbots. And then, um, as I launched the the open university gumawa po ako ng, uh, ng videos uh, how to use or how to set up my chatbot and pinakita ko kung paano ko ginawa yung chatbot ano yung mga use ng chatbot so um excited ako yung launch yung open university para sa ating lahat because um actually hindi niyo kailangan hintayin yung open university you can learn sa youtube I'm using many chat, so you can use the Google or you can use YouTube para alamin yun na yung many chat. So really, just give the client this um parang confidence na alam niyo yung sinasabi niyo kasi nakita niya na siya, right? So give them uh the impression that you have this uh understanding of how social media strategy or how social media marketing really works. Okay? Content creation. Sa content creation, tatlo lang yan. Um, video, photo, or written posts. Sometimes, combination of, of two. Photo, written. Video, written. Or, or video lang, or photo lang. Pwede din naman yan. But, ayan lang po yun. So, you have to know the tools. And, um, para sa, sa mga... Hindi hindi natin kailangan magpaka-hardcore. Alam mo 'yun, hardcore editing, mga ganyan. At least you know Canva. At least you know Photoshop. Kung mahirap sa Photoshop, basic editing lang ng Photoshop, right? And then sa videos, mm, you can use Camtasia. Meron akong tutorial sa Camtasia. Nasa loob ng Swag Team. Um, and you can even check YouTube. So, halimbawa, magbe-birthday si baby gumawa ka ng video, i-edit mo, lagyan mo ng ano, ba? And that can be your, ah, uh, ilagay mo sa portfolio mo, ba? Or you can say sa iyong interview that, oh, I've been doing editing because I love um, uh, creating nice videos for my family to treasure the moments and all. So, those are ways for you to really grow your talent. You have to do the actual thing. <laughs> really, just do the actual thing. And people you are following to learn more. So, you have to take note of these people na pinafollow mo and dedicate time to, to uh, I mean, spend time with them sa kanilang uh, tutorials or sa mga ginagawa nila and be inspired. Okay? Ako gusto kong pinafollow si Gary Vaynerchuk. Nasa SMM Handbook yon, Kasi gusto ko siya dahil talagang sinasabi niya that if you really want to become successful, then you have to do the real thing. And hindi ka pwedeng tatamad-tamad. Kasi kung tatamad-tamad ka at ini-enjoy mo lang, binibaby mo yung sarili mo, wala talagang mararating. So, you have to make sure na um, you're not just watching me after this, gora ka na ulit sa buhay mo, wala kang gagawin. Because that will really defeat the purpose of you watching me. If you're watching me, you have to do the real thing. You have to take action. Okay? So, Enough knowledge what kind of posts that work. 
Okay. So, hindi mo naman, pagtabawa, tinanong ka ni client sa uh, interview na, ano sa tingin mo yung mga magagandang klase ng content na dapat kong i-post? Sasabihin mo sa kanya, um, I believe, uh, I mean, mag- I believe, sabihin mo, I've been following people, uh, I've been following brands, company brands, and these are what they're doing, and I believe it may work with your brand as well. I may be wrong, but I would love to research on how you would like me to do it, and I would love to learn how to do it as well. So, alam yun, so, yung mga ganon, kumbaga, meron kang, basta meron kang masasabi, and you have knowledge about it. It doesn't have to be talagang business level na knowledge, but at least you have this knowledge that you can tell. Right? Then, creativity. Involve ang creativity kasi social media, it, hindi siya kailangan maging boring. So, you have to be creative then. Um, and creativity, pwede po yan, mm, hindi yan yung parang pag pinanganak ang creative, ikaw lang yung pinagpala. <laughs> hindi po ganun yun. Pwede po nating ma-enhance yung ating creativity by really finding inspiration and then just trying to model what they're doing, right? Hi, Jean! Kamusta? Andito po si Jean. Si Jean, super, super love na love ko yan. Uh, kapag ka nagdadrama ako, nakikinig siya and she's really very um, focused then sa kanyang career. So, hi, Jean. Yan. Um, that's about content creation. Uh, para dun sa question nyo, paano maging creative, what you need to do is find inspiration. Yung something na talagang nakakatuwang tingnan, and just see kung ano yung, alam mo yun, parang take note of it. And then, as you consume the, 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 the content of that person that you really love following, alam ba, parang, wow, itong taong to, napaka-creative naman. So, ano yun, kapag fina-follow nyo yung mga ganong tao, sometimes you get the idea kung parang, alam ba, pag gagawa ka ng sarili mong post, parang gagayahin mo siya. You will not copy, but you will just model what they're doing. And then, that makes you a creative person. You know? So, hindi lang mga pinagpala ang pwedeng maging content creators, kundi yung mga taong masipag mag-research, masipag maghanap ng inspiration, and higit sa lahat, talagang nagtatake action. Kasi the creativity, kung nasa utak lang yan, and you're not doing it, you're not creating something, you're not producing content, mm, well, not work. So, you have to be very uh, dedicated sa ginagawa mo. Okay? So, Next is market research. Um, kapag tinanong ka ni client, do you know market research? Uh, do you do you do you know how to do it? Market research, ang, ang simple definition po niyan is you need to understand the audience. Uh, understand nyo kung sino yung mga potential leads or yung mga potential na bibili ng products. So, when you say market research, aalamin nyo kung nasaan sila aalamin nyo kung ano yung mga gusto ng mga taong to, aalamin nyo kung saan sila uh, nag-spend, sa YouTube ba, sa uh, Facebook ba, sa Instagram, Pinterest, you know, you have to do it. I mean, so, paano nga ba yun? Paano ba yung sinasabi mong market research la? The first thing that you need to know is, kailangan maintindihan nyo muna kung sino yung target ni client. Alamin nyo kung sino yung target ni client. And then, Um, that's, uh, for example, ako, ang target client, not really client, but target audience ko is yung mga tao na gustong magkaroon ng work online and at the same time, willing mag, mag, mag-aral. I mean, kasi may mga, uh, I mean, hindi naman sa pag-aano, I believe that um, deserve ng mga taong talagang masisipag yung information. So, It breaks my heart na parang sobrang sipag mag-aral, sobrang gustong makuha yung ano, ginagawa niya lahat, and yet wala siyang nakukuha, wala siyang nararating, just because wala siyang pambili ng kahit anong info, or walang, 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 alam mo yun, wala siyang proper guidance, yung mga ganyan. So, that's why I'm here. That's really the goal. And my audience ay yung mga taong willing magtrabaho. And they have this humility na talagang mag-aral, aalamin, hindi magmamataas. That's the kind of people that I am targeting. So, how do I find them? Siyempre, pupunta ka sa mga groups. Groups na mga naghahanap ng trabaho. So, doon ako nag-start. And then, as I grow, uh, I mean, habang, hab, para i-grow ko siya, 
para mag-grow yung followers ko is, di ba, na-find ko na. Um, I believe nung nag-start ako is kahit meron akong 20 people, not really 20, parang less than 20 pa, nag-Skype session kami yung nag-uusap and then um, I tell them what I know and then I ask them uh, ano yung gusto pa nilang malaman. And then, doon, based doon sa kailangan nila, I create content. And then, yung content na ginagawa ko is nakaka-attract ng mas marami kasi, oh, gusto ko din malaman yun. Gusto ko mapanood yun. And so, I am growing my, my, my followers. So, market research involves a lot of um, uh, research na, kumbaga, kikilalanin mo talaga yung audience mo. So, um, how, how do you, how do you, for example, uh, for example naman, may, may specific task si client sa'yo. Um, ang target ko is yung mga nasa California and gusto ko yung mga naghahanap ng gym sa California. So, what you need to do is to use the filtering system ng Facebook o kaya naman sa, uh, di ba, parang people, uh, di ba yung mga, pag nag, halimbawa, tin, uh, pinapahanap niya sa'yo yung mga taong naghahanap ng gym sa California. So, itatype niyo yung gym, tap, doon sa search bar ng Facebook, tapos isaset niyo yung location, California, that's one way, right? And then, sa Instagram, iti-check niyo doon kung sino yung mga uh, nagtatag ng gym, and then, alam niyo yun, parang uh, you can engage with them, and iti-check niyo doon kung nasaan sila. It's difficult. That's why market research is time-consuming. Kasi it's difficult to get to to get the target. Yung sinasabi nilang lead generation, yung hahanap ka ng mga potential na pwedeng uh, bumili sa'yo, it's difficult. It involves a lot of research. But ang, ang purpose ng ating session today is for you to know what market research means. And in simple terms, market research it means that you will totally understand kung ano yung kailangan ng audience and kung nasaan sila and how you can reach out to them. Okay? Kasi knowing where they are is good. But letting them join your group or letting them follow your page is another thing. So you have to find them and you have to know what they want, what they need, so that they will follow the page. Okay? So that is uh, market research. And yeah, you have to do to know what's the examples of contents that work for them, kung ano yung gusto nila, and creative way how you can model people doing the, uh, the, the successful campaigns. So yeah, that's how you do the market research. Um, uh, I believe that's uh, audience building, kasama siya sa audience building yung market research is as, uh, kapag kilala mo na kung sino yung market mo, then you have to give value to them continue to uh, to appear, alam mo yun, hindi kayo someone na, ah, join my page, ganyan. No, you have to talk to the people. Sabihin nyo sa kanila na, hi, I believe kailangan mo ng tulong, ganyan, ganyan. It involves a lot of work? Yes, really. Kasi, hindi yan magic. Hindi ka naman artista na ifa-follow ka lang basta-basta eh. You have to tell them that you are someone who wants to give value so that people will follow you. Hindi tayo artista na ipa-follow lang tayo basta-basta. Okay? And hindi porket maganda yung picture mo sa Facebook ay ipa-follow ka na. Hindi po ganun yun. You have to let them know what's the value that you can give so that they will follow you. So, in that way, you can uh, grow the audience. Audience building, you need to, yan na yung sinabi ko, join Facebook groups, give value, be authentic, be consistent. When I say be consistent, gaya nung sinasabi ko, consistently, guys, I am doing sa... Uh, Saturday live sessions consistently. I mean, hindi naman consistently kasi may mga, I mean, may mga emergency or mga technical issues ako nang nagagawa. But the goal is be with you guys every Saturday 2 p.m. Kasi para makita niya that I'm really intentional, that I this is my brand, this is the kind of of, of passion that I'm really doing so that people will believe, people will join. And that's the way how you build your audience. And um, you should stay on brand. I mean, for example, diba, alam ba, mag-post na lang ako dito tungkol sa mga skateboards. Diba, parang off yun. <laughs> Or work at home, tapos bigla nag-skateboards. Yung mga ganyan. So, you have to stay on brand. And then, 
parang halimbawa uh, bigla na lang akong uh, nagbago, biglang meron na lang ibang tao na nag-jump in sa page ko kasi binayaran niya ako. Halimbawa, uh, someone someone wants to 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 use my page tapos magpo-promote ng product nila. Kahit na ang layo-layo naman sa work at home geek at kahit hindi niya naman nire-reflect yung values ko. So, I don't do that kasi I want to stay on my brand. I want to stay as a, as as who I am right now. So, kasi yun yung reason but kayo nag-follow sa akin, di ba? So, you have to uh, stay on brand. So, I believe this is the session. <sighs> Ako ay nakano na. Ano na? Ano oras na? Three. Okay, naka one hour na ako. Um, that's the end of this presentation. How you can, um, how you can build the, the setting, uh, I mean, how you can get, uh, how you can become a social media manager kahit wala ka pang client. So, I will welcome your questions right now. So, let me know. Ano yung mga questions? Ano yung mga natutunan nyo that you, re- you believe that is very helpful. Do you find this helpful, guys? Um, can you say, say yes if it is? And if you have questions, please uh, show, uh, let me know your questions right now. And nga pala po, um, sa mga interested na mag, uh, mag-join sa or maging swag team uh, moderators, I will be launching, uh, the, uh, as I launch the Open University on my birthday, October 24, dun po ako mag-screen ng mga uh, gustong maging moderators. I'm sorry dahil wala pa akong pambayad. I'm doing all these uh, tutorials for free. And um, so, I'm not really earning anything from here. So, yung mga mag-moderators, wala din pa akong may babayad sa inyo. So, but what I can give is my knowledge and just we can grow together and really become, you know, a good community that help uh, one another. So yeah, um, we will. Op- I will open that open university open, but I will launch that open university on October twenty four. We are still working on it. So um, sa lahat ng mga naka subscribe, um, kung ikaw ay nagsend na ng message sa aking page, then you are my subscriber. You will be notified once the open university is officially launched. So if you haven't sent the message dito sa aking work at home geek page please uh, send a message para man notify kayo and hit the follow and like okay so yan kadadating ko lang is this recorded yes shula might shula might dumasi yes po okay yes very helpful yes very much love the brand <laughs> very helpful ayon I'm late. Hi, Lynn. Kamusta? <laughs> ano, team replay ka. <laughs> Ayan. Um, wala na po tayong questions. So, can't wait for your Open University. Yay! I'm glad that you guys are excited sa Open University. I'm excited as well. As always, all vids are very helpful. Thank you, man. I appreciate that po. Okay. Um, it's okay, Miss Lala, yung knowledge, mas malaking bayad yon na magagamit namin. That's true. Thank you so much. Ayun, um, o pag na-open yung, uh, pag na-launch na yung Open University, I will notify you guys, yung mga nasa subscribe, tsaka yung nasa loob ng Swag Team Community. Uh, sa open, the Open University will, ang priority nun is yung mga Swag Team members. So, you have to be part of the Swag Team a uh, community so that you will be notified as well and you will you know stay connected okay so yon thanks and knowledge happy birthday po <laughs> thank you bell kamusta ka um alam ko may client ka na bell diba so yon all right mukhang wala na tayong questions nag over ako ng 20 minutes but yeah uh, i hope that this session has been very helpful sa inyo guys and if you have um, concerns na super urgent, I will uh, really try to answer agad sa, sa aking Facebook page. Just send us a message po. Okay? And uh, yun lang, I will see all the people na nag-participate sa workshop. Actually, ang workshop na gagawin ko is para lang sa mga con- uh, sa few people so that one-on-one coaching then. 
But, you know, it would be a good place kasi sa Azure kami mag, mag, uh, ano, mag well, workshop. So, there will be training and then swimming, then kwentuhan, quality time. So, yun po yung gagawin namin sa workshop. And, ayun, uh, sa mga hindi po nakahabol, that's, uh, that's okay. I might create another workshop po. Pero, um, ang next in line ko po na sa workshop ko is baka po sa Cebu, yun yung i-organize ng, ng SWAG team admins. And I really want to go there with you guys. Kahit na super konti lang tayo, walang problema. I just really want to be with you guys sa mga interested na magkaroon ng one-on-one training with me. So, what will happen inside the workshop is, uh, it will be shared din naman sa, sa live session. So, you have to be together with me. So, um, ayun ang, yun ang gagawin natin. Okay. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, Jean, gagawin natin yun. For sure. Kasi, um, uh, there is a place na, uh, I mean, si Ao, si Ao, super appreciate your efforts ni Ao. Um, she will be organizing the, the place and then uh, I will go there. We will be with you guys. I just really want to meet you guys personally. So, um, I hope to see you guys sa Cebu. <laughs> Late po, not feeling well. Oh no, Mara. I hope you uh, get well soon. Yeah, sa Cebu tayo. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> okay, that's all guys. I hope lahat ng mga natutunan natin, hindi lang siya mariretain sa utak natin, but we will really take it into our heart and put it into our actions. So that's all. God bless you. And tomorrow is Sunday. It's for God. And I hope that we will all dedicate our day Okay, Lord, and hindi lang every Sunday, but every day of our lives. So, God bless you all. I will be ending this session now. Okay, bye-bye.